Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, and prepare to blast off into space as we ride the Silver River. Just put it down. Give me the, give me the fucking thing. No way. Give it to me. I am not giving this to you. You're not going to play with that all night long. It's not a toy. Fine, I'll put it down. Do you want to touch that one? Yes. Don't give him more shit. <laughs> Come on. Do you want one? I'm trying to help you. Here you have one. <laughs> the Silver River is a brand new game. We have the designer of that game right here with us, Robert Burke. He's come all this way to show us his game. And right now, I'd like to show him a beer. Yay! Zipline Brewing Company's Copper Alt from our wonderful beer sponsor, Mel. There's a bite on the back end that I don't There's like. a nice bite. I, don't, I, I, I like it. It's, it's, I think it's more of a tang than a bite. And I don't like yeah. tang, but I don't mind the tang in this. I don't like the tang. It's like sucking on a sweet penny. This show is sponsored by the creator of the Silver River. Deal! In Eastern cultures, the Milky Way galaxy is referred to as the Silver River. So Much better name. I, I is prefer that. Name. So the game takes place in our own galaxy, and we all play a different alien race that many people think really exist in our galaxy. Such as humans. I'm a human. <laughs> yes. I'm the Martians. I am the cyborgs. I have some emotions, but difficulty expressing them. And I'm playing the insectoids. I'm from Earth because I'm humans, and Martians are from Mars, what planet are you from? You have an artificial planet, actually. Look at that. Oh. It's not artificial to me. No. To me, it's home. The object of the game is to score the most victory points. You do that in a bunch of ways. There's these public objectives that you can complete. Colonization, development. Oh, exactly. Uh, it's a kind of empire building game. Okay. Right? One is more war based. If you destroy another player's fleet, you'll get points. If you destroy a space monster, you will get points. Who is this Mamma Jamma? That is Mungrood the Unforgiving. He looks it. Next to Sagittarius A. Yes. And Sagittarius A is the real, actual, supermassive black hole in the middle of our galaxy. It's too bad he doesn't have a flexible mouth. I was going to do a little puppet show. <laughs> <laughs> so you can also take over planets and not attack and kill everyone. Yeah, we can live peacefully together if we like. We can even share the same planet. Like, I could come over here with Matt, and we could live together on a planet. No way. Happily. Or we could fight. It's up to us. Cyborgs wanna... must destroy all life. I want to see that <laughs> show with the cyborgs and the insectoids. Yeah. As roommates. Who has eaten my fermented dairy product? <laughs> Insectoid, was it you? <laughs> I wish the cyborgs were half Borgs and half Psy from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> then everybody also, you have personal objectives yes. that you can complete. My personal objective is to start going to yoga class again. <laughs> I really need to do that. <laughs> Build your core, your Psy, co your core Borg. Also, my yoga teacher is hot. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. temperature wise. Correct. She has a fever. <laughs> Four ships. You got to put these ships out. You can put them on your home planet or within one space of your home planet. And remember, the number on the bottom tells you how many ships you have in that fleet. Matt can go all the way over here. No, you have to go within one space of your home planet, Matt. Fuck. I God. thought that was a little aggressive. Can I just drift in empty space? Yeah. Yes, you can go there. Mm -hmm. You can only explore empty spaces. My fleets have been placed. They are deployed. The cyborgs will triumph. Me too. Wait, that was kind of robotic. I'm not a robot. I'm a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I think John Madden is your hey, robot. Time to go into space. We're gonna go, gonna go on and get a go. <laughs> space bugs. First thing we all do, we do together, and we produce. And production is very easy math. We get one raw production for every population that we have on the board. I can colonize or I can explore if it's an empty space, or if there's another player there, I can attack them. Or I could move into this and attack the monster. How would you defeat him? You have to roll really well, but okay. here's the thing about the monster. We could all go in together. We could team up and take them down. The monsters, you kill them, you get lots of cool stuff, so it's worth doing it. Treasure. Yes. Space treasure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've all governed. We've all done our, our production phase. We've done yes, our I have. Phase. <laughs> I will go first to show you how this works. It is approved. I am going to spend all my technology production to build advanced colonization, and I'm gonna upgrade my fleet level 
only because I'm right next to the cyborgs and I want to be able to protect myself. You oh, must. Yeah. You must protect yourself, <laughs> for we will rule. So my ships are now more powerful, just so you know that. For now. <laughs> That's my whole turn, and then it goes to you. Yeah, we're gonna, hey, I wanna build, I wanna put people on another planet so I can get some, get some good things happening. So you're gonna colonize? Yeah, I'm gonna colonize right here. So spend three and put one of them right there. I want to do the uh, technology production. Well, how many years are we talking about here? Four, just four ages. And age is when everybody passes, and the age is over, we go to the next age. If I was a person in this world, in this oh, universe. Oh, it's centuries. Centuries, like yeah. many generations. Yeah. All right, I'm going to build advanced colonization. You're a Jeez. Martian, and Martians don't get jerks. I don't get those kind of humor. Do you need some <laughs> emodium? No, <laughs> I'm a, a Martian. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you a Martian or are you Tiny Dave Matthews? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I don't know who that is. Say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't move it's Tiny Dave Matthews. <laughs> I eat you Martian. You're going to be hearing that from me all night long now. Oh, damn it. All right, what was the first one you said? Fleet upgrade is a good one. Just do a fleet upgrade. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a yeah. fleet upgrade. Yeah. Fleet Seems upgrade. like a really yeah. wise decision. Yeah. And when you do a fleet upgrade, it applies to all your ships everywhere in the galaxy, no matter where they are. Whose ship design do you like best? I like Matt's. It's the classic saucer shape. It is pleasing. <laughs> is it the cyborg's turn? It is. I would like to build a pleasure dome. <laughs> right off the bat. I want to use it to try to access my feelings better. <laughs> you have to build it on your home world. Oh, excellent. It's within walking distance. Well, is that really smart? Because now nobody can attack him. Yes, now nobody can attack that planet because we don't want to destroy a planet. No, we just want to go have pleasure. Cyborg 5 is now the planet of pleasure. We play Frankie Goes to Hollywood all day long. <laughs> More pleasure for cyborgs. Do you have mountain goats here? Yep. Really? No. They're they're dwarves in uh, costumes. Hired by the city? Oh, they do for free. Oh, that's yeah. kind of them. Jason actually <laughs> runs a dwarves union. How do they pay dues if they do the work for free? They're always short on their payments. <laughs> <laughs> we are playing the Silver River, and they have a Kickstarter going on right now. You can go there, contribute. You can get yourself a copy of the game, and you can get even more than that. If you go to the Kickstarter campaign and you contribute at any level and you say beer and board games sent me, you could possibly win all of the games that Robert Burke has designed. Most of them. Nine games. Rolf plus expansion, get reels. Battle for Soul, Draco Magi plus expansion, Moons, King's Struggle, Offensive Band Name Generator, Doppelganger, and Book of Dragons. These are all super cool games. You can win them all. Yeah. I'm gonna spend one military production and I'm gonna move one of my ships over here and explore. I get to draw a card from the Explore deck. Massive asteroid discovered. I can harvest the minerals for myself and gain two military production, or I can sell the minerals to traders and gain a quest. I'm gonna take the quest. I've gotta get this asteroid material to a trade station. If I can do that, I get to move up on the domestic investment track. What you have just described will be very difficult. Why? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy listening to Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax. Over. Don't do Over. it. When you want to sock it to it. Does he really say sock it to it? Indeed. I have studied the lyrics. <laughs> I have them printed on a, a printout. Do yeah. cyborgs have sexual feelings? Yes. Functional? We, we need to relax if we want to come. <laughs> <laughs> to move you ship. Move one ship. Move it there, and now you can colonize both these planets where you have a ship. Doing it. Not what? this one, because it's hostile. You don't have subterranean colonization yet. I shall explore. Ancient star base found. <gasps> I will disassemble the station for parts. Yeah, that's such a cyborg thing to do. He has, <laughs> has, has no reverence for history over there. I am offended by your words. I'm coming for you. I would like to see you try, rotund man. I, I'm going <laughs> to squeeze into my Starcraft and go over there. Why does yeah. your Starcraft smell of horses? Because I keep them in the stable. <laughs> I like to pet them when I'm sleeping. Is my odor of salami offending you? <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry. You are a buffoon. I like salami. The cyborgs will crush you. All right, bye-bye now. Pew.
<laughs> I'm done. Jason's turn. Um, I go. Uh, Can we be friends? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna help you defeat the cyborgs. Yeah, John gonna, Madden. Let's do it. Let's I am standing right here. Five. I am playing sabotage on the cyborgs, and I'm destroying what? two of your ships. <laughs> I just got those ships. Not anymore. You will not survive <laughs> the winter. Thanks, bug. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is what you just did a tactic? Yes. I cancel any tactic card. Can I cancel his cancel? Yes. Come on, let's not get into that. No. Does that no. mean you're not going to attack me anytime soon then? If I don't cancel it? Sure, I won't attack you. For how long? I'm too busy attacking these two. I don't have <laughs> time to attack you. Great. I announced on last week's show that we'd be getting a very special visit today. His name is Egotistical Sniff, and he's got a new album out called I Is The Dope. And he's here to promote it, so uh, let's bring him out. All right, I can't wait. Egotistical Sniff! Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Egotistical Sniff. Can't believe you're here. I'm here to promote my new album. You knew what? Called I Is The Dope. Okay. I ran into some hard times. I was, I was homeless, I was under a bridge, buff in pain, mm -hmm. and Matt Sloan rescued me. And I recorded this album, and it's dropping. Straight up dropping. So did you use your tough life on the streets experience to- I drew from my experience, that's yeah. right. Yeah. The album explores uh, depression, and feelings of stupidness, <laughs> and- Stupidness? Uh, 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 what, what's that word, were you, uh, were you alienated? Alienated? Yeah, a word. It's got six tracks, six dope <laughs> joints. Track number one, I is the dope title track. Track number two, I huff paint under the bridge, which I do not do anymore because that is whack. And you sneeze purple for a week. Track number three, me and the drifter, which was when I ran afoul of a drifter who tried to get me to help him steal a car, which I did not do. Track number four, Matt Sloan saved my life. Track number five. Uh, I is the dope, part two, <laughs> reprisal. Yeah. Okay. And track number six is send in RoboCop because RoboCop is dope. That is my second favorite movie. What's your first favorite movie? It's You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. <laughs> that movie is romantic AF. And by that I mean romantic and funny. I wish Meg Ryan would send me mail. Where would she send the mail if you've been living under a bridge? Y'all can hit me up on Pinterest. <laughs> that is the only social media I mess with. That's where I got my vision board, all my hopes and dreams. Uh, 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 a paid rapping gig, a uh, record contract, uh, uh, my join up in the source. You know, there's always been- What's up, Jason Voice? Hey. I go to jasonvoice.com all the time. Yep, there's a couple of S's in there, but that's- Say what? Yeah, Jason's Voices. I don't know that. Uh, you Jason Turner, right? No. Um, oh, so I don't know you. <laughs> no. Jason Turner does some fly voices. So a lot of rappers have uh, special guests on their album. Do you have any Not special- I mean, nope. nope. I am shunned in oh. the rap world. Oh, okay. My rapping style has been described as terrible. I can't even rap out in public no more. I can't mess with them rap battles because I end up in the hospital. It's been really nice having you on the show. What up, Robert Bork? Yo, what up? <laughs> Yo, you and me is a lot alike because you be designing them games and I design them joints. That's right. We should work together sometime. Yeah. Sniffing Bork. <laughs> Well, it sure was nice to see Egotistical Sniff. I know. I never thought I would meet that guy. Nice that, that he finally came on the show. I know. He's when you go to patreon.com slash beer and board games and pledge at the top level, you get your name put on the bottom of one of our steins. That is a super cool thing that super cool people have done. And now we will be dedicating a new stein to TK52801. Trav is a member of the 501st, and this sure he is. Ah. is his identification. You can also go to patreon.com slash beerandbarrams and buy us a beer. And that way we toast you right here on the show. Kyle Botillier. Trav. Michelle Ledford. Peter Powell. Patrick Powell. Patrick Powell. And Peter. We'll give him a free bee. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I wish to colonize. Burr. Do it. So we spent three colonization production then. The cyborgs have a new house. I explored. I got population boom in fleet. The f this fleet has been exploring a long, lonely time, and population boom on the ships produces a lot of babies. Mm. 
I got a lot of babies on my ships right about now. You are a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm a full adult man with all the things that come with that. I have a bunch of technology. I probably could do something with that. Yes, you could spend it all and build a three technology or spend two and build a two. Can I just point out that when pe when Irish people say shirt, they say shart. What do you want to build? You can build any one of these only. Lasers. Two My teams. turn, I'm colonizing here for two and I'm done. Welcome to the pleasure realm, am I right? All right, I got uh, political production I can use. You, you can pass or you can spend two and get a tactics card. I'm gonna get a tactics All card. Right. You draw two and keep one. Tactics, please. Here you draw go, two. human. Draw another one for me, please, Martian. Here you go, human. Pick one hey. card one. Then it's Aaron's no, no. turn and he can populate yeah, I'm gonna for populate. two. I will just explore. Uncharted space, no longer a mystery. You passing? Uh, yeah, passing. All right, so you get to move up on a track. The arts, infrastructure, education, or social programs? Social program. All right, I'm passing, and I'm going up on education. I believe in education. I believe in a thing called education. Okay, well, everyone else is passing. I think I'll pass, and I will choose infrastructure. Just to be dope. A new age begins. Yes, we get a new monster. Mungrud goes away, oh, and we get Krator! Oh, Krator. I'm going to kill Krator. He's That's a sentient my goal. moon with a big gun. And he's a Mr. Frowny Face. Krator! And I think he's constipated, too. I haven't <laughs> gone in weeks! <laughs> Matt, I'm going to play a tactics card to look at your whole hand of tactics cards. And I get to take one of them. Me? Yeah. You said you. Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant I don't Aaron. know what you're talking about. I said Aaron, because you, you have most. You wouldn't take my cards, would you? Because I have a plan for what I'm to do with those. I'm going to take one of them. No! Le don't take anything that helps me attack the space monster. I'm going to take this. You bastard. And I'm going to discard it to get three raw production. Thank Wait you. a minute. Can I cancel your card before you do it? Yes. I'm canceling it. <laughs> Should have took that one. i got to defeat Krator. You cannot defeat Krator! I'm going to defeat Krator. Okay. <laughs> if I defeat a planet with a giant gun in his head, people are going to look at me different. Hey, hey, hey. what whose turn it is? It's me again, a human. Hey, I, you know, I'm going to upgrade upgrade my fleet. I want to get laser blasters so I can better uh, defeat them. And you take the military tech here, uh, and you're going to move from... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm you're a gonna, space captain. You're going to upgrade from lasers to mass drivers. Now you're more powerful. Uh, ground control to Major John. I'm going to attack Kratos. <gasps> I don't understand. Right? Reboot, rebooting. <laughs> <laughs> I am now fully rebooted, and I have many system upgrades that I've downloaded. <laughs> hey, you know, cyber. I do it too.